Hello. Today I wanted to talk about handling uh, multi-disc uh, installs with uh, Lucris, uh, mostly wine games. I mean, I don't think uh, you would have multi-disc installs with uh, any other uh, platform. I mean, you have multi-disc on PlayStation and stuff like that, but that's handled differently. Uh, that's handled directly at the emulator level. Well, this you'll need all the disk at the setup phase, and then you won't need the disk anymore. Um, so we're going to take the example of Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, because this is the game I used to uh, code a feature in, in Lutris that was needed to handle multi-disk um, installs, uh, which is the, the button to eject, eject the disk uh, with wine, because otherwise, um, if you don't eject the disk with Wine, then Wine won't register the disk change and you won't be able to progress into the install. So that's that's the game I use uh, to co code this feature. Um, so I also wanted to talk about uh, the software I use to, um, to mount disk images, uh, which is called CDMU. And what CDMU does, it it does, um, it creates a virtual SCSI drive on your system, even if you don't have any optical drive uh, at all. Uh, it will create a virtual drive and then you can mount any type of uh, disk image. So it's not only limited to ISO uh, files, it's all, all the disk images you can think about. So it's going to be uh, CCD, uh, bin, Q, or MDF, all, all those images, and ISO, of course. Um, if you're on Ubuntu or something that's based on Ubuntu, you have a PPA you can use directly. Um, you can also use the, the AUR if you're on Arch Linux. Um, so yeah, so to, to get the, 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 this game, you'll need to get, uh, you, you'll need to go on archive.org so there's the game available for download. So it's a 2005 game. It's not available for purchase anymore. Uh, there's even another game that's called Most Wanted that was released in 2012. So that's the older, the older one. That was that's the, the one uh, released in 2005, and really available nowhere except uh, on archive.org. Um, so yeah, let's start the, the install here. Uh, let's take the, the wine version. And it has a patch, like for patch uh, 1.3 and also the, uh, the patch to use full HD because otherwise it would be limited in 4x3 uh, resolutions. So here we already have the disk mounted. So we just have to do auto detect. And the feature that's needed for this uh, this game setup to uh, to progress is this eject button that you'll see on on any install that uses uh, CD-ROMs or DVDs. You'll have this eject button that you can use. So use this one and don't use you see the one for example in Nautilus. So let's progress. So this game requires a key. I have a key here. That's basically the one I. It was available in the comments on archive.org. There we go. You can leave the default options. Um, you don't need to register. There's nowhere to register to. So the, the game will install the, some files and then it will ask you for another disk. So let's put that on the side. See, insert disk two. And then here you have to press eject here. And you'll see that the this CD one has disappeared. Here you can select disk two, open with CDMU. And then you can select okay here. And you can see that the the game is progressing, the install is progressing again. So we only have to, to wait a little while and then it's going to ask for 
uh, disk three. So remember, always use this button and not the um, the other one. Uh, otherwise, if you eject the the disk and um, and Wine doesn't know about it, uh, then you will click OK and it's not going to do anything. It's just going to st stay stuck to this. Uh, please, uh, please uh, insert disk three or disk uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, be sure to use this button. Um, and that was a problem initially uh, with uh, with this game. Uh, is that since the the setup file is located on the disk itself, and the way Linux works, uh, this means that once you had started install, um, you couldn't eject the, the disk because the disk was being busy by the game, like by uh, by the whole system. Since you have the, had the executable that was run from the disk, then you couldn't uh, eject it. So what the installer does is it copies the, the um, content of disk one into the, uh, the cache and then uses that but there's still the, the disk uh, in the drive. So here it's going to ask for disk one again to complete the install. Um, here, let's put this back. Now it's going, so don't launch anything yet because it has still to install the patch and the full HD patch as well. All right, so that's the uh, 1.3 patch. And then it's going to extract the, the full HD one. And then you're able to launch the game here. Hi, I'm Josie Marin, and I play Mia in Need for Speed Most Wanted. Make sure you do all your racing in the game. On the streets, drive safely and responsibly, and wear your seatbelt. Right, so it starts uh, by default with your with your native resolution. So you don't have to do anything to change the resolution. And if you look at the options here, the game thinks that that's already. But it's not. So if you just don't touch that, and you'll get the way to it. Um, anyway, that's that's all for this game. So, um, so that's the only th that's the only thing that you need to know for to install this game. And this should also be a, um, applicable for other games that use uh, several game uh, several discs. Uh, there's also a few things that you you need to know about uh, GCD MU. Um, here, now we can eject the disk here. Is uh, It also in the handles like hybrid disks. So here we ha have some um, some NEC PC Engine CD uh, games. And what I can do is mount this. And you see it's going to show up as an audio disk. And then I can open this with a uh, rhythm box and play the the music from the disc, or yeah, so that's like uh, f there, there are some really nice musics on the PC Engine since they were like the, the first console using CDs. Uh, it's really nice to have access to to, to those uh, to, to those sounds. So yeah, uh, there's also. I mean, this this is with the bin Q formats. Uh, you have also other formats like this one. There's not every tracks uh, here available, but it still works. It will still uh, show up as a audio disc. You can still open here, and then. So this is the, still the, the old one. So you see, if you don't eject the previous one, it will still hold on to uh, 
the other one. So let's go back, mount this one here, mitten box. And now we have the Castlevania music. So, of course, this is only if you want to listen to the music uh, by itself. Uh, those disk images, uh, those formats should be handled by um, the images themselves. So, um, so here it would be either Meddafin or uh, a core and, and a RetroArch. So it would likely also be the Meddafin core, Meddafin PC engine. Um, and I know that there's no issue reading those files with uh, MedDefend either. It's just that you won't be able to di directly read those with the, the mount command or the, the GNOME desktop, like the disk image tool. Um, it's only using this GCD MU that's available. It's not available in the, the default uh, repos, so that's kind of annoying. And I don't know why it's never been included in the default repos, uh, but I think it's a very useful piece of software, so I highly recommend it. So yeah, that's it. Hope it was useful, and hope uh, you can install multi-disc uh, games.